Picture this. The year is 1944, World War II rages on, and the city of Warsaw, Poland, is under the oppressive boot of German occupation. In the midst of this grim reality, a beacon of hope emerges. The Warsaw Uprising. A significant event in the annals of World War II, this was not just a fight against the oppressive German forces, but a courageous assertion of Polish sovereignty. The uprising was a part of Operation Tempest, a series of revolts against the occupying forces across Poland. On the first day of August in 1944, the heart of Warsaw pulsated with a newfound resolve. The Poles, under the banner of the Home Army, decided to take matters into their own hands. They set out to liberate their beloved city from the shackles of German rule, marking the beginning of an intense 63-day struggle. This is the story of the Warsaw Uprising, a 63-day battle for freedom and sovereignty, marked by courage, sacrifice, and a heavy cost. To fully understand the Warsaw Uprising, we need to delve into the historical context of World War II. As the dark cloud of war spread across Europe, Poland found itself in the vice-like grip of German occupation. The city of Warsaw, a jewel in Poland's crown, was under the thumb of an oppressive regime, its sovereignty hanging by a thread. The German occupation was a grim time for Warsaw. The city was strategically valuable, being Poland's capital and its largest city. But it was the spirit of the Polish people that truly made Warsaw a city worth fighting for. Despite the harsh conditions, the flame of resistance flickered in the hearts of the Poles. This resilient spirit laid the groundwork for the uprising that was to come. In the face of occupation, the Poles formed an underground resistance movement known as the Home Army. Their objective was clear, to liberate Warsaw and reassert Polish sovereignty. This was part of a broader plan known as Operation Tempest, a nationwide uprising aimed at driving out the German forces. While the Poles initially gained control over central Warsaw, the lack of support from the Soviets proved to be a major obstacle in their fight for freedom. The dire conditions in Warsaw served as a catalyst for the uprising. Food and water were scarce, and the Polish people were pushed to their limits. Yet, their spirit remained unbroken. They knew that the only way to regain their freedom was to rise against their oppressors. They documented their struggle through newsreels, newspapers, and a radio station, ensuring that their fight would not be forgotten. The stage was set for a monumental struggle. The people of Warsaw, under the banner of the Home Army, were ready to reclaim their city. They knew the odds were against them, but they were prepared to pay the ultimate price for their freedom. And so, with a glimmer of hope in their hearts, they took up arms against their oppressors. With the stage set, the people of Warsaw, under the banner of the Home Army, decided to take a stand against their oppressors. The Warsaw Ghetto, a grim testament to the harsh realities of the German occupation. Amidst the backdrop of World War II, the Warsaw Ghetto was a place of systematic oppression and unbearable living conditions. The ghetto, a prison within the city, was densely populated with families crammed into tiny apartments often without basic amenities. The stench of despair filled the air as the people were forced to live on meager rations, with many succumbing to diseases due to malnutrition and lack of medical care. The German occupation was not just a physical one but also a psychological warfare. The inhabitants of the ghetto were constantly subjected to random acts of violence and brutality, instilling a state of constant fear and uncertainty. Amidst these harsh realities the ghetto became a breeding ground for smuggling operations, as desperate individuals sought to bring in food, medicine and other essential supplies. Yet amidst the despair, an ember of hope was sparked. The mounting desperation within the ghetto walls began to forge a spirit of resistance. As conditions worsened, the oppressed inhabitants of the ghetto began to unite, to plan, to prepare. They began to dream of a day when they would rise against their oppressors. In these dire circumstances, the seeds of resistance began to sprout. On August 1, 1944, the people of Warsaw said, Enough! The uprising had begun. In the heart of World War II, the Poles decided to fight back against German occupation. This act of rebellion, known as the Warsaw Uprising, was a part of Operation Tempest. The primary objectives were clear, oust the Germans and reassert Polish sovereignty. The stakes were high, the battle fierce. The Poles managed to seize control over central Warsaw, marking the first significant victory in their fight for freedom. But the road to liberation was far from smooth. The Poles were left isolated as the Soviets, who were initially expected to provide support, held back. 
This lack of external aid put the Poles in a precarious situation. They were outnumbered and outgunned, yet they held on, fighting with every ounce of their strength. As the days turned into weeks, the struggle for resources became an uphill battle. Food and water shortages threatened to break the spirit of the Polish resistance and the civilian population. But they were not deterred. They had come too far and sacrificed too much to give up. The Polish resistance was a beacon of hope in those dark times. Their resilience was remarkable. They documented the events of the uprising through newsreels, newspapers, and even a radio station, ensuring that their story of defiance would be told to the world. They fought not just for their freedom, but also for their right to be heard. In the face of adversity, the Poles demonstrated an unyielding spirit. Despite the heavy casualties, with an estimated 16,000 Polish resistance members and up to 200,000 civilians losing their lives, they stood their ground. They fought against the oppressors, against the odds, and against their fate. The Warsaw Uprising was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It was a story of courage, sacrifice, and an unyielding will to fight for freedom. Despite the devastation and loss, the spirit of the people of Warsaw remained unbroken. Despite the odds, the people of Warsaw fought on, their spirit unbroken. Every uprising has its costs, and the Warsaw Uprising was no exception. The aftermath of the uprising was a bleak period for the Polish people. Three long days resulted in heavy casualties. An estimated 16,000 members of the Polish resistance were lost, and the civilian death toll ranged from 150,000 to 200,000. German casualties on the other hand, ranged from 2,000 to 17,000. The city of Warsaw, the heart of Poland, bore the brunt of the conflict. By January 1945, about 85% of the city was reduced to rubble, a stark testament to the ferocity of the battle that had taken place. The once vibrant city was left a shell of its former self, its streets deserted, its buildings flattened, its spirit seemingly broken. The uprising was not just a battle against the German occupation, but also a struggle for survival in the face of dwindling resources. The Polish underground faced severe food and water shortages, their strength eroding with each passing day. Amid this chaos, the much-anticipated relief from the Soviets never came. The Poles were left to fend for themselves, their hopes of liberation slowly fading into despair. But even in the midst of such adversity the Polish people found ways to document these harrowing times. Newsreels, newspapers and even a radio station served as the voice of the resistance, chronicling the events of the uprising for the world to see. These accounts, raw and unfiltered, captured the true essence of the Polish spirit, unbroken in the face saw a new wave of persecution, this time from the Soviet authorities. Many members of the Home Army who had fought bravely in the uprising, found themselves targeted, their heroic efforts rewarded with suspicion and hostility. The Warsaw Uprising was a tragic yet inspiring chapter in World War II, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Polish people in the face of adversity.